Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my pre-release coverage of Element Space. It is by Blowfish Studio 6 Val and Inca Games. Again, the release is sometime by the end of the year, in theory, probably, hopefully. And you guys can get it for 15% off if you use the link down below and the promo code RTBEVU. And I'll have all that down below in the description of the video and as well in the comment section. I'll just post a comment. And that code will work up until, if you use the link and the code together, it will work up until January 31st, 2019. So you guys have a little bit of time. If you like the game, you like what you see, you want to go and grab it and support not only the developers and publisher and all that stuff, but also me. I would greatly appreciate it. And it would be a pretty nice and cool thing for you guys to do. So there you have it. And we're going to continue on. I did find that I was unable to, like, I thought it was going to, like, auto-save my progress. It didn't seem to. So when I went to, I did, like, a live stream little showcase of this uh, earlier to show off some of the gameplay. And, uh, yeah, basically I had to start over. So, yep, well, here we are. We've started over. I was able to skip most of the storyline and whatnot. So it didn't take too long to get back here. But let's see here. We can go to Area 2 this way, which leads us nowhere. Or we can go to area... Uh, why are you just standing there? You don't wanna... You don't wanna come hang out? No? Okay. That's fine. You can sit back. It's okay. Is that right? Is that right? So I did a... Oh, affirmative. The contingency plan is in effect. The interlopers are being targeted by their own soldiers. Incriminating them was not difficult. This will still play out in our favor. Will it? Will it still play out in your favor? So I feel like it might not. My starship is ready. Requesting permission to leave. Confirmed. Proceed. Stop! Drop your weapon! Scratch that. The interlopers are still alive. Get rid of them. No witnesses. I got this. I have a gun longer than my leg. It's fine. Okay, so where be you? You be over there. And you are a boss, and it looks like you have some sort of shielding technology. And I'm really hurt. Well, I guess we do not heal up between uh, battles, which is not great. So, yeah, this is going to be a thing that happens. Oh, um, so use rookie, our attacks aren't even getting through our shields. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm glad that you noticed that as well. She's just laughing at us. Alright, well, um... So we'll scoot back over here. I feel like this is not going to go very well for us. Yeah, she just shielded up. Oh, dang. She just murdered my cover in one shot. Okay. Okay. Um, where, what, how, how did you move that far? That was an excessive amount of movement. Is there some point to this? Because I feel like there's no way we survive. At all. Like, none whatsoever. I also feel like moving there was a really dumb plan on my part. Let's scoot up here. We'll take a shot if we can. I not sure how we have 100% accuracy, but we do, and I'll take it. This is bad. This is really bad. Ow! That was a lot of damage. She just can traverse the entirety of the map. We're getting crushed, rookie. Yes, yes, we are. We need to get through her shields. Yep. Uh, we needed to get through her shields a while ago. Oh, what is this? Download to chassis complete. May I be of assistance? Of assistance toward you. You're the one who's been aiding us. We'll take all the help we can get. Flank her! And it's assistance. I don't know where I got obsistance. Shields disabled. 
This is our chance, Chris. Attack her. I'm almost dead, man. I'm going to be hiding for the rest of the map. So, you know. Anyway, thank you, weird Protoss man. Thank you, weird Protoss man. Why don't we get you around this corner over here and you can blast her in the face. Oh, what are these? Hacking protocol. Enemies armor shields. Enemy is silenced and vulnerable for two turns. That use skills. You know, takes extra damage from all sources. Ooh. Disruption protocol. Enemy and target area are pulled to the area center. We can take her out of cover, I guess. That hurt a little bit. It's working. Is it? That's the top of that. Your shield's up. I wouldn't talk back, man. She gonna smack you upside your head. And you're probably not gonna survive that ex that exchange. I'm just saying. All right, there's a... Oh, we got a crit. Oh, I like that. All right, sweetheart, can we do this? Who are you? What's your name? I don't know. I have no idea what your name is, but I believe in you. I believe in the you that's gonna shoot her and, and kill her and, and win the, the, the day for us. Sweet. Can we go get her gun and her shields? Cause I feel like that would be cool. All right, what are we doing here? Three out of five turns, cool, nobody died, which is fantastic. Uh, we dealt 70 points of damage, we landed three flanking shots, and five shots landed on enemies in cover because, you know, the game gave me 100% chance to hit her. Not gonna complain. If she hit me for 40, I think that was fair. Is she dead dead? I feel like she should be, but... It is done, rookie. We need to get out of here before they break through that door. The ship is waiting right this way, please. Okay. We'll follow you, mystery man. Mystery downloadable into a chassis, man. It's fine. Raphael is just gone. Okay, the Rubicon Clock. The Rubicon Clock represents how long until Tempest plans cannot be stopped. Failing missions will advance the needle one-third of the way to the 12 o'clock position. When the needle reaches the 12 o'clock position, the game is over. Uh, you have saved the starship inspiration from being hijacked and destroyed the mysterious saboteurs. Raphael fell in the line of duty and you laid down your reputation. But you have protected the authority of the sovereign powers and saved humanity from chaos. Okay, points gained during the mission 2 and 2 for the ES and the SU. Um, okay. And Zero is uh, loyal, apparently, and June is neutral. She's not real happy with me. She doesn't like me. We're going toward an, an autocracy. Humanism, bureaucracy, or independence. Alright, we gained three autocracy points. I'm sure that's a different way to say it, but it's fine. That's what we're going to go with. And we got rewarded with zero. Alright. Let's do this. I've never seen controls like this, these before. I don't think I can pilot this ship. Sir, I am capable of performing piloting duties during an emergency. This is definitely an emergency. We need to get out of here before they activate the Inspiration's weapon systems. Do I have your authorization to uplink my systems to the ship's something? Yes, just hurry. It skipped. I didn't press the button. Uh, uplinking. Okay. Uplink complete. Now I did click the button. It did. Okay. Now on the beak. Now in the waist. The deck. What? Was that a quantum jump? Where are we? Why? Why does it have this skip thing and then it still skips the stuff when I don't want it to? I don't understand. It's fine. Again, it's the ghost in the machine right now. We're in open space, Captain uh, Pytham. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I thought only the inspiration could jump without a vagrant. Who are these people and how did they get a ship like this? Sorry, guys and gals. You might have to pause and read the stuff that I'm missing. It's jumping a little bit too quickly for me to read out loud. Or read ahead and then try to recap, so... Uh, oh, whoever they are, they won't be the last. Uh, that won't be the last that we see of them. The woman we fought at the end, she was speaking to a superior. Quite correct, Rear Admiral June. The team you encountered today belongs to a network of operatives that extends throughout the three systems. 
They are a decentralized organization with unparalleled resources who seek to destabilize galactic peace and other things. How do you know all this? Why? Because I worked for them. At their behest, I analyzed data on the socio-political state of the three systems, looking for the points of tension that, when exploited, would easily do something. Wait, what kind of robot are you? I am not entirely sure. I was just a research program designed to process and analyze vast quantities of data in very little time, and also usually jump ahead before I can read your lines. Just saying. Just saying. It's fine. But since I gain access to the ship's Uninet connection, suddenly I am more aware, more capable of independent something. Like some sort of artificial intelligence. Perhaps, if so, I would be the first of my kind, the Zero subscript uh, at the beginning of the sequence. I do not think I could go back to being a mere program. Please, allow me to stay here and aid you. Sure, humanity needs your help. If what you're telling us is true, it seems like we need all... We need your help. Um, z Zero. I is Zero okay? We all need your help, yes. I quite like it. I'd be very glad to offer my assistance some friendship. Will it lend you... Against the Tempest? What? I don't know what that means. It's fine. It's fine. Zero, you said this Tempest was trying to destabilize key points in the three systems. Can you identify them? Certainly, my access to their planning has always been limited, but I should be able to extrapolate their major targets. Okay, you understand we can't go back to high command with any of this, right? I know, they just blast us out of orbit. Plus, you saw the kind of access these Tempest people had on the Inspiration. Alright, she looks very sad. Very somber. Yeah, they've got someone on the inside working for them. We're going to have to do this on our own. It'll be tough without help. Stopping on our own is going to be an uphill battle. We'll need to make new allies. It's true, Chris. It's true. Look, in three weeks' time, that ship we just saved will house the biggest concentration of political leaders this galaxy has ever seen. The Galactic Congress. If I work my contacts, cash in some favors, maybe we can blow this thing wide open in front of the entire galaxy. Maybe. But, to do that, I need you to gather evidence of the Templar's existence. Sorry, the Tempest's existence. Whatever, whatever Zero pulls up, you need to investigate. Rear Admiral June, my preliminary scans show evidence of Tempest's presence on something. I don't think we'll get much luckier than that. We need to make preparations to land immediately. Indubitably. Then it's settled. You and Zero handle this while I start making headway with my connections. Have fun without me, rookie. I always do. Are you ready, Zero? Uh, affirmative, sir. Certainly. Setting course for the great ocean of Venus to unpathed waters, undreamed shores, and sewer mutants. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, we have a terminal? Oh, well, that's a thing. Do, um, we have two points available, okay. The chances of duelist allies successfully shooting at a melee locked enemy are no longer reduced. Okay, gunslinger. Reload is now a secondary action. Okay, I like that. I can't unlock it because I need three points, right? Range is increased, and I mean, that's fine. We'll just we'll, we'll hold in there. Uh, can we check out Zero? Zero's got two points available as well. There's not much he can do. He's a tank or a flanker. It's interesting. Flankers are able to cover more ground and maximize damage on flanking attacks by exploiting weaknesses in their enemies' formations. Other than the tank, tanks are capable of enduring extra damage, hold down the front lines, and allow their allies to go on the offensive. Duelists are melee experts. Nope. Gunslingers gain extra attacks as they hone their abilities, allowing them to deal damage as quickly as possible. Yup. Standings, stats, I guess we're going to go to missions. I guess we're going to go to Venus. The evil that men do. Captain, the government of the most serene republic of Mediterranean 
has not responded to our inquiries, but a vagrant of the congregation has requested we meet with her regarding a highly sensitive matter. Her name is Alice de la Fontaine. She's a relative of the Doge, a local political leader. They believe a militant nationalist group named Il Pugno Rosso may be linked to an organization like Tempest. Okay, cool. The Most Serene Republic, the MSR... M? Oh, of the Mediterranean. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. No, we'll do that. That's a thing. Uh, looks like we have very little choice. We have a long-range weapon. It's only the Pulse Rifle Mark I. A short-range weapon. And a mean left hook. I guess we'll go with the long-range weapon. And then on this side, we can go... Can we go with two long-range weapons? We could. I think I'll, I'll go this route. Our mean left hook actually does more damage. Right, maybe we'll, we'll keep this. I don't know. We'll see. And then we'll select uh, this and restores 25% of the target ally's maximum health. Gives us 20 HP. Moves all status effects from the target ally. I think I'm going to go with the cleanser because I, I don't think we have a lot of HP. We have 100. And it gives us back 20. I'm okay with that. We can add a companion. It's going to be zero. He's got 100 as well. He can move 16. We can move 16. Okay. Secondary. I guess we'll give him a med kit. Alright. Well, whatevs. He's actually got a shield, it looks like. Oh, those are, oh, those are enemy stats. Okay, okay, okay. We have a level up? How does that work? Yeah, I know I, know I can do that, but I, I can't do these things. So we're going to hold off on the level up. Which is fine. All right, I guess uh, navigation, we're ready to go. Let's go. Hopefully everything's saved and I didn't just waste my time. As uh, The evil that men do. As the landing shuttle descends through the atmosphere of Venus, all you can see far below you is the immensity of the ocean, stretching on toward the horizon. Your destination is Thermopylae, capital of the most serene republic of the Mediterranean, a great sprawling city that sails across the waves. Zero's interception of encrypted Tempest channels pointed to communication from, with someone here on Venus, but inquiries made to the government of the MSRM were met with no response. It was Alice de la Fontaine, a vagrant of the congregation, who reached out to you. Her cousin Emilio, son of the Doge of the Republic, protector of the MSRM, has been kidnapped by a group of fascists insurgents that go by Il Pugno Rosso. She has found evidence that places them on the other end of the Tempest's comms. You are en route to meet with her at her uncle's office, where together you hope you will be able to uncover Tempest's machinations. Or machinations. Captain Pytham, I'm glad you made it. My uncle and I were just discussing what to do. Uh-huh. Thanks for having us. It's good to know that someone in the Republic is listening to our concerns. The Quaratai are bit quite busy. You see, it's Remembrance Day here in the Republic. I usually give a speech at the Senate to mark the occasion, but this year... We have your son. If you want to see him live, stay away from the Senate. Il Pugno Rosso will rise. Il Pugno Rosso is a fascist group intent on overthrowing the Quaratai. Quarantai? I don't know. They've been a threat for years, but they've never shown such audacity. Okay. Why go after your son? How is the congregation involved, Alice? Are there any leads on your son? Why go after your son? Why Emilio? Why not come directly after you? Emilio is a counter-admiral of the Cavalieri. If they come after me, he would have given them heck. This way they tied both of our hands. Fair enough. All right, well, how is the uh, congre congregation involved, Alice? Why did the congregation of the Senate send a vagrant to look into this? 
The congregation did not send me. Emilio and Doge are the only family I have. When I heard the news, I knew I had to come. Okay. Do you have any idea where they could have taken Emilio? I've discovered that Il Pugno Oroso met in the aqueducts beneath the city. We could start there. That sounds promising. Well, uh, we'll follow your lead. Bye, Doge. Alice, I really hope we can help find your cousin. Me too. All the information I've gathered points to this place. Nobody else comes down here. Okay. Looks like we have control once more. Do 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 do. Uh oh. Are they gonna have a random conversation? Caspita Intorusi. Well, that didn't take long. Don't worry. Leave him to me. Standing out of cover, they've clearly never faced something before. Short movement actions count as a secondary action. Okay, attacking and using skills will count as a primary. What does that mean? Earth dash. Alice, Alice dashes to the target enemy, dealing 30 kinetic damage and pushing them back. Target enemy is pushed into another enemy or cover. 60 damage is dealt to both. Holy crap. Water dash. She dashes to a target ally, restoring 30% of their maximum HP. <gasps> what? And fire dash. Let's dash it to the target area, dealing 20 heat damage and burning all enemies within the area for one turn. Well, that's crazy. Um, I guess we're doing this. Boom. Goodbye. So... We kind of did a thing. I mean, do we really want to do cover damage, or do we just want to like flank him and murder his soul? Because I'm leaning toward the flanking and soul murder, personally. So I think we're going to go with that one. Oh, you had shields. I don't like when you guys have shields. It makes me jealous because I don't have shields. But we'll roll out over here. Why can't I have shields? I think that's very unfair. Learn more about the Il Pug no Rosso's plans and eliminate all the hostiles. The hostiles. Oh no, we're blinded. I'm not really concerned at all. It's fine. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. It's going to be awful. So enjoy. You did. Battle cleared. So that was like a smoke grenade or something they threw over there, I'm assuming. Perfect. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be the spot where I break off the episode again. I don't know if I can save or not. I'll play around and see what I can come up with. But, game's quite cool. I'm really enjoying it so far. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, the, well, the showcase, uh, a little bit of the pre-release stuff. Again, I'll see if I can't jump around and do some other things, but... I did try doing that on the live stream today, and essentially it put me into a battle where with like five or six enemies, and I did not have any allies with me, which pretty much meant that I was going to die a horrible death. 1v5 or 8 or whatever it was did not go well. I just got annihilated. So I, I don't know if I'll be able to jump around or not, but we'll see. We'll try it, and I'll let you know either way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>